we took some time to look at the difference between showing and telling. We started by reading In Celebration of Fantasy by Eduardo Galeano, and he shows us some very important things about the people in the story. He shows us about a man who goes all the way to Machu Picchu to be bored and write notes. So we can guess that this guy maybe is a university professor. And then he's surrounded by little children. Poor little children whose skin is cracked by dirt and cold, their skin of burnt leather. So we already know what kind of kids they are. Or we think we do. In the end, he shows us that these kids are much more than we think they are. And one kid has a watch. His uncle sent it to him from Lima. So now he shows us that this kid is just as good as the professor with his very special big city watch. We looked at a picture of our own from what we talked about at the very beginning of the year about Tatmina Kohistani. We tried to imagine what we can see in this picture. We thought about how does this incident begin, what's happening now, and how will it end. And then we wrote paragraphs to describe it. When we wrote these paragraphs, we went back through them together to correct the grammar and also to look at sentences that were telling us something and think about how they could show it to us. So here we see in blue, it was hard for her because she made it to the Olympics. Instead of saying it was hard for us, telling it, we could show it and show the things that she had to do that were hard, like she had to run every day, people throwing rocks at her. But that only made her run faster. That is showing, not telling. We did this with more than one paragraph, and then we took time to look at a whole new image. This one, some sort of letter, where most of the words have been crossed out. All that's left are three words, I, love, and you. And it was for us to imagine. How had this letter began? What happened to this letter? And how will this story end? And that's what we looked at, showing versus telling.